I probably started revising in January of year 11, but I did both certain subjects which were exam based. I did at least one hour a day from January onwards. For non exam based subjects like business studies and like health and social, um, I, I stayed out of school to complete my work so I got it on, in on time. Also, when I was at home, I accessed the work from like BLE and stuff like that. Uh, I use like brainstorming all my notes, then simplified all my notes down to like keynote cards that I could just read off for like my exams. I also did a lot of past papers, especially for maths, and reading reading the questions properly and practicing the questions. Um, when I was in at home, I used to read out my notes to get them into because it helped me to learn them. I also revised in groups with some of my with some people, but not with my friends because if I revised my friends, I wouldn't learn. And also. I attended some extra school sessions out of school just to help out. Um, I think the main thing is planning your time. Um, I found that if you don't plan it, you end up spending more time socialising or you spend more time revising sub more subjects than others. So in the end, I ended up not revising enough for geography because I spent too much time on like science and stuff. It's important to make sure you make time, plan your time, way before your revision starts. I got a, a lot of revision books from my teachers, and I also attended like after school sessions and other sessions in the holiday to help me really like, to, like get on with the work. I also made quiet space in my house, just like away from my friend, away from the distractions, so that I could uh, just crack on my work and good food and drink and plenty of sleeps. Um, these are really helpful because without these I wouldn't have got my grades. Yeah, and in science we all went to revision and holiday. Um, with English, like when especially English lit and stuff, like, I kept reading books and stuff to help me learn the techniques and stuff. And also I got I got some exercise books which made sure my notes, my exercise book was all orderly and fine. Yeah, maths I did like tons of past papers. Like it's the way to go on maths, and if you don't know how to figure out a certain equation, uh, you could use MathWatch DVD that should like, explain it to you step by step how to do it. You take like the skills to figure out that related to the papers. Yeah. Well, obviously, the first thing would be school, then you do revision after school, and then the last thing on the mind should be socialising with friends. That should be the last thing you think of. I think it's too important not to ask. Too much is at stake just to turn up to lessons and do the homework. Um, it's your future and it's your life and if you just don't put the work in then it's your fault if you don't do well. Uh, I like a bit of noise but not too much and nothing distracting, nothing Personally, I found them distracting at times, especially loud music. Uh, if you if you do prefer music, then select something a little bit more chill if you're helpful. Yeah. Um, I'd say finding the right balance between not nagging and giving enough support. Um, make, nagging too much can add pressure, and it's really not what students need. But you know your child, you know if, it, if they need to be nagged and if they're doing their work and stuff. So it's just up to you if you know your child well enough to nag them. Yeah, it's, I think it's also important to remind them where they can find help if they need it. And at the end of the day, it's up to the students to do well. And if they don't want to do well, then they're not going to do well. Um, work hard and be confident. It's mostly the problem with students is you're not confident enough in your ability. If you're, if you're confident you will get the grades you deserve. Also, don't let others distract you. It's your future you're going to affect, not theirs. Yeah, I think a big thing that helped me was uh, every hour of my revision, I'd take like, a 20 minute break off just to regather myself and then go back onto it. Yeah.
Um, I think ask your teacher for extra support and if you don't understand don't be afraid to ask because they're there to help you not just tell you things and always keep track of your progress of what you need to learn.